Are we ready? Did I get the thumbs up? All right, I would like to call um, uh, to order the selectmen's meeting of Wednesday, January 16th at 2.30 p.m. Um, prior to taking um, the roll call, I would like to announce um, the remote participation of one of our members. As chairman of the Board of Selectmen, I would like to announce that in accordance with the procedures described in 940 CMR 29.10, um, Section 7, Member Chaz Sexton Duranian will be participating remotely in today's meeting, where his physical per attendance would be unreasonably difficult. A speaker phone is being utilized, so all persons present at the meeting shall be clearly audible to each other. A quorum of the body is physically present as required by MGL Chapter 30A, Section 20D. The member participating remotely may vote and shall not be deemed absent for the purposes of MGL Chapter 39, Section 23D. All votes taken during any meeting in which a member participates remotely shall be by roll call vote. Copies of documents or exhibits reasonably anticipated to be discussed during the meeting have been distributed to the member participating remotely. Such documents shall be part of the official record of the meeting and shall be listed in the meeting minutes and retained in accordance with MGL Chapter 30A, Section 2. Section 22. Thank you. Uh, so could I have a roll call, please? Joe Shank, present. Chad Sexton Duranian, present. Uh, Veronica Kell, present. Um, I'd like to announce that the tape is be the meeting is being um, recorded and will be on YouTube uh, after the fact. It is also being broadcast live on Channel 9. So uh, on to 1.3, Chairman's additions or deletions. I have a few. Um, the first is to add Section 3.3, appointment of um, members to the Flag Committee. This is as a result of last night's meeting with the Flag Committee. Um, I would like to add Section 5.1.6 uh, for a discussion of the wall that heals. Um, and 5.1.7, um, I would like to add decorum at meetings. Um, and 5.1.8, um, the uh, discussion around the open meeting law um, announcement that just came out, allowing us to continue with Zoom meetings. So those are my additions. Um, do you all have anything else to add? No, you, you hit it both, the flags we'll talk about and the uh, the healing wall. Okay, thank you. Yep, I agree and I'm all set. All right, um, thank you. Um, moving on to 3.1, uh, this is appointments of officials and personnel. Um, at last night's meeting, we reviewed the contract for interim accounting help contracts. Um, and uh, we can now add names and more definitive to 3.1. So at, right now, I would like an, a motion to appoint uh, Teresa Walsh um, to the part-time, eight-hour-per-week minimum non-benefited position of interim town accountant from June 16, 2021 for a term continuing until a full-time town accountant is hired. So moved. Second. Uh, could we have a roll call, please, on the motion um, and the second? Joe Shank, yes. Uh, Chad no. Sexton Duranian, yes. Uh, no, I'm talking about the motion. I want to go back here. Oh. So, Chaz, could you make the motion with roll call, or do we not have to do that? Uh, Since you're participating remotely. Our votes need to be roll call to my knowledge, but I, I'll go back. Uh, you want me to, to formally make the motion? Um, just say Chad Sexton Duranian so moved. Oh, Chad Sexton Duranian so moved. Second. Joe Joe Shank. Shank. <laughs> um, uh, is there any further discussion? Nope. 
All right, then all those in favor of the appointment um, for the interim town accountant, uh, please make your thoughts known. Joe Shank, yes. Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cal, yes. All right, 3.2, um, I'd like a motion to appoint Richard Saracen to the part-time minimum um, eight hour per week non-benefited position of interim deputy town accountant from June 16, 2021 for a term continuing until a full-time town accountant is hired. Chad Sexton Duranian, so moved. Joe Shank, second. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Joe Shank, yes. Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. So uh, congratulations, Terry and Dick, and we're looking forward to you starting. 3.3, um, we added uh, three appointments for flag committee. Um, I w is there a motion to appoint Karen Clement um, to the flag committee? Um, e effective today through um, these are five-year appointments, correct? Yeah. Um, for a five-year appointment, so through? 2026. 2026. Who, who uh, is there going to be three, uh, or are they staggered um, terms? Uh, I believe they're all the same terms, so let's just do them all together. So I yep. retract and go forward again. Uh, I'm looking for a motion to appoint Karen Clement, Paul Smith, and Kim Gilberti to the flag committee um, for uh, a five-year term beginning today through June 30th, 2026. Uh, Madam Chair, I uh, make a motion that we appoint Kim Kilberti, Paul Smith, and Karen Clement to a five-year term on the American Flag Committee to commence today, June 16th, 2021, and end June 30th, 2026. Is there a second? Second. Joe Shank. Um, second. All those in favor? Joe Shank, yes. Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Kell, yes. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations, Karen, Paul, and Kim. And I will get the appointment letters out to you ASAP because I know that there's an American flag um, committee meeting tomorrow evening. Uh, Madam Chair, could you also give those names to the um, town clerk so they can prep the book for swear-ins? I can do that. Thank you. Yeah. Madam Chair, we're talking on the flag committee. Is it appropriate just to make a remark about the flags as far as, or is that something separate? Um, let's talk about that when we get to the wall that he Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it would be appropriate. Yeah, it would be. Okay. So, all right, um, moving on to uh, section five, the work session, town administration updates and reports. Um, I, I want to first say that I very much appreciate the fact that Chaz has been leading the charge with IT here and that Joe has been um, doing the public outreach for all the things that need to be done that we'll be talking about. So thank you. So moving on to 5.1. Well, we thank you, Madam Chair, for all the effort that you're putting in in town hall and everything that you're doing. It's, it's a, well, it's a challenging job, but it, everyone's working together, and that's really nice. Yeah, we each Chad have... Second, Chad Sexton, Duranian, second that motion. <laughs> <laughs> we each have picked a piece, and um, it just seems to mesh well. So yes. I just yeah. wanted to say thank you. So 5.1.1. Guardian IT administration and process. So Chaz, this is yours. Anything, I know you're meeting tomorrow morning um, with Brad here at Town Hall to go over things, um, equipment and all, but is there anything else that we should discuss here? Um, yes, I'd like to bring up an issue that we had in our highway department. Um, there was uh, an issue with the hard drive um, to, um, 
Jim Smith's uh, computer. Uh, we, uh, I shouldn't say we, I didn't really do anything but report. Uh, but um, Guardian feels that um, there may be an issue with the hard drive being corrupted. So we made a decision um, that they're going to send an engineer over to mirror that hard drive because I don't want to lose any data that's on there. Uh, and I would like permission, number one, to, um, you know, to, to let you guys know that that's what I made the decision on, um, and if you agree. And number two, um, we are getting um, some bids in regards to our replacement computer for him over there, and I'd like to be able to proceed with that to get numbers. The replacement computer is because of the corrupted hard drive? Correct. Okay. All right. That's, I'm fine with that, Jazz. Um, okay. So I, I'm going to make a motion that um, we continue the work that the engineer is doing with um, the highway department computer and um, to go forward with bids for a replacement computer or just hard drive. Well, we'll for see what happens. whatever needs to be replaced to make it um, whole. Second. Yes, because that particular that particular computer, as I'm seeing it here, is about eight or nine years old, um, and um, there there has I mean it's been a workhorse for Jim. Jim is more concerned about losing data than anything else. But in order for him to continue with the the good work he does over there, I think we need to give him some equipment that at least is in a, in you know our century. All right, so we have a motion on the floor to go forward. Any further discussion? No, I think, Jazz, whatever the IT department feels is the appropriate way we need to handle this, I, I say move forward. So I second the motion. Um, all those in favor? Joe Shank, yes. Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Kell, yes. All right, uh, anything else, Chaz, that we should talk about with respect to? Uh, no, I'm all set as far as IT is concerned. Um, anything else is really can I can wait until our next session. Chaz, can I? I, I just want to. I know when we were in session, you asked about if I seen the um, the facilities, Rob, to ask him about the equipment that's in the computer room that we thought, which is his office, is set up in. And um, I did go in there. There's only one little piece of equipment in the corner, but Town Halls has its own computer IT room by itself. Um, that is correct. And I did get an email from Rob this morning. Um, that is considered the town's data closet, and that's what I'll be looking at with Guardian tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Okay, awesome. I just want to let you know the outcome of that. Thank you. Yep. Okay. No, I have a master key to be able to get into the rooms that I need to get into. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to 5.1.2, the discussion of the interim TA. Uh, this is me because this has fallen on my plate. Um, I, you know, we put out the announcement last week and we got the, um, we have groups working with us. We did receive one resume and as of today, I still don't have one. Uh, any further beyond that. Um, on Monday, you gave me the go-ahead to reach out to all the other names on the list that we received from DOR, so I will be doing that by Friday. I haven't had time uh, yesterday or yet today to get that done, but we've done a lot of other good work in the meantime. Well, you've got 24 hours in the day. I know, I know. <laughs> so I will be, I hope that um, at our next meeting on uh, uh, Monday, I'll have more to report on that. Very good, good um, job. I would like to get someone in place by the end of the month. Yeah. But if we have to go into the next fiscal year, we will. It just depends on We are we moving forward though. I mean, we've got the interim right. accountants here helping. It just, it's a process, but I think everybody's working due diligently to do the right thing and make things happen. And um, I, I should have done this back at the appointments, but it goes with interims. Um, I, I was going to uh, notify Terry and uh, Dick of their appointments and see when they would like to meet with us. Yep. So uh, I might make that a Zoom meeting um, based on their availability. Okay. So sure. could be this week. Um, That's Friday. fine. It would be Friday. Do we need to have it posted today then for Zoom meeting for Friday? Oh. 
So do we, well, Madam Chair, do we need to? I guess we, we don't all need to we meet We don't now. need to meet. I mean, I, I have the confidence in you. We've already approved them. Meet with them. You can meet individually if it's okay with Chaz. I don't know your thought, Chaz, but, you know, just get them up and running. I mean, right. once we're in a meeting, then we'll bring them in and just, you know, formally introduce ourselves and, and meet them in person. What do you think? Yeah, my, my understanding is they understand our situation, and I think they would be comfortable with that. So we could meet them on when we can. Um, but I'll, we, I'll make it an effort that when they get in here that, that we get to see them at least the first week that, that they're here. Yeah. Okay, and so what I will do then is um, uh, forward the formal contracts to them for signing. I, I'm going to need you two to sign this as well. Hmm. Um, I can sign them on Sunday morning. Is that too late? Um, or if the two of you, we really just need two, if right? If I can get them printed here yeah. before you leave, Joe, yeah. and Chaz, we could get your signature, correct? You'll be in tomorrow. Yes, I come in, yeah, I come in on Thursday. I'll yeah. be in uh, yeah. tomorrow, so I can All sign right. them then. So we can get our signatures on the contracts. So, yeah, oh, you are, have them then? I have these printed. Joe, I'm so glad you print things out. I, so, <laughs> I have both of them here, but I don't have two copies, but we can use We can make copies. We, uh, um, yeah, I have both of them. So, I have both printed out. If we can have somebody make copies, perfect. All right. Thank well, you very much. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I'll we'll right. sign here today, and then you can have jazz. And then I'll just um, invite them to come in to sign the contracts and to meet with me. And to get started and then Monday when I'm back I will personally come in to try to meet them or see what when yeah, they're in their if office you, if you could each drop by to meet them and then we can um, invite them to a meeting put it on the 29th later. meeting yeah just okay. you know what I mean just so we formally introduce them and and we meet them okay yeah I'm good with that all Very right good. nice job um, all right so I will uh, take care of that today all right, um, so that's the interim TA. I hope to have a more robust report on, I think our next meeting is Monday, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, so this agenda is incorrect. Moving down to 5.4, I have the next meeting is June 18th at noon, but we're not gonna do that, 18, 19, 20. It'll be June 21st. Which is at 12 o'clock, right? At noon, yeah, and I will set up a Zoom link for that. Awesome. And get that posted. Very good. ASAP. It has to be posted by tomorrow at yep. noon, so I'll Same. get that. Um, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. Um, discussion of temporary part-time BOS executive assistant duties. Uh, for this, I have a letter from HR that I put in SharePoint this morning, uh, or it's about, it's from the um, payroll department, and I thought I had it here. Um, so, uh, we are looking for some guidance as to what to do yeah. with the portion of the new employee packets that are not payroll related. Normally, Car Carolyn would create an HR folder to keep in her office and take care of any further requirements or incomplete forms or packets. So the question was what to do with relation to that. Um, and there are two new employees that this would affect. Um, uh, so um, I, I think that it's time for us to look at getting some um, executive assistant uh, temporary help in the office. So I wanted to know your thoughts on that. Madam Chair, if we're going to talk anything in regards to the uh, executive assistant's position or any time, I would like to recuse myself from any conversation. Um, all right, I'm good with that. Chaz, how about you? I'm, I'm okay with that. So if you would like to leave the room, Joe. Come get me when it's done. I'll come <laughs> get you when we're done talking. Um, so just a minute, Chaz, yeah. until Joe is out. All right. Um, so Chaz, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Madam Chair, I'm very, um, <clears throat> I, I, I feel that um, a lot of the information and duties um, that need to be done uh, really should be um, 
done with somebody who has either had the position or worked very close with an individual that has had the position. Um, there, there are currently employees within town hall that I think um, might be able to fit the um, fit the bill, um, but it would be something that we would need to approach their um, uh, their supervisors uh, and and ask them if they would be uh, able to devote uh, some time to help us out with it. Um, that is my first initial thought um, to to see we do have people that I, I'm sure would be interested in that. Um, Having said that, um, it is a temporary position, and um, at least if we could see if somebody would be interested within town hall right now, um, that could give us a few hours and the supervisor would be um, amenable to that. I think right now that would be our best uh, best avenue to, to look to. Okay, so, um, yeah, so an, an internal posting more or less with a supervisor cool. approval? And what Correct. I would like to do, Chaz, is um, define the duties and the amount of time per week we think it might take. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're okay with it, I, I could work on that and, um, and we could uh, run it by Kate or perhaps the union. I'm not sure how this fits if, if, you know, because some of our employees are union employees, some of our employees are not union employees in town. I know that this position is a non-union position. Correct. I, I don't know if there's any complication, I don't know if complication is the right word, any considerations that need to be made because of that. Uh, my thoughts are let's, um, I, I, I can, I can, well, I'll move for um, the chair to write the job description for the temporary part-time BOS executive assistant and run it by um, the union representative. Okay. If he's okay with that, um, then we can move forward. If he's not okay with that, then we would probably need to have an executive session. All right. Okay. So, um, all right, I will second that motion. Um, all those in favor? Chad Sexton, Duranian, yes. Veronica Kell, yes. Um, okay. So, um, what I will do then is work on the um, position, uh, run it by the union rep and Kate, um, our council, and uh, we'll see where we go with that. Correct. Right. And the duties to me are more of the um, um, the immediate, the correspondence, the you know. Um, the, we are we the selectmen are working on the minutes and the agendas. I think we need to keep that for now and just um, being able to, uh, you know, I, I know that uh, there's road opening permits that that we sign that need to be given back to highway. Those kinds of things can actually be expedited as quickly as possible. So um, I think that that position would be able to do do that. Okay, so I'll write it out for correspondence and um, requirements based, it, based on things that happen at the meeting, but not the minutes or anything Correct. like that. Okay. Correct. Okay, I'll, I'll work on the wording and get that to you. Okay, um, hopefully I'll have that for Monday. So okay. we can get going on that to get, because things are starting to pile up um, and it would be good to have that not really pile up but it would be good to have that support so all right thank you very much I think we can bring Joe back in so I will go and get him do you see him out there I'll go. can you go get him Dave thank yeah. you Appreciate it. All, right. all right so Joe is rejoining us um, I'm getting here. Uh, 5.1.4 is a discussion of the town hall office space um, for the where will we locate the interim TA the BOS executive system uh, assistant temporary help the um, TCAM facilities the Board of Selectmen office it's become apparent to me that we need at least a desk somewhere to keep things to share um, right. I, I for one am uncomfortable having all the papers in the hallway mm -hmm. right now when we don't have staff in either room so I just this morning moved all the hallway papers back to on top of the file cabinet mm -hmm. 
in the executive assistant office. But um, the other thing is the accountants. Do we have enough room for them downstairs in the accounting office? Are there three Never desks in, in there? there? No, me, I, I've been, been in, in there, there, but I haven't really noticed how many desks there are. It might be good to make sure we have the space that we can, um, you know, house everybody. Yeah. So thoughts? What do you guys think? Um, I, I believe that um, we shouldn't really be doing any shuffling around right now with any other space. Um, okay. So that <clears throat> we have a freeze on spending, we have a freeze on <laughs> moving people well, around. Well, we do not have a freeze on spending. Well, a freeze on on. Do we? I mean, there was a fr spending freeze put on a year ago that hasn't really been lifted, but based on things that have been submitted, um, you know, for departments. Well, we've, we've, been, we've been approving because it's towards the end of last year's budget anyway. Correct. This fiscal yeah. year, the closing of yeah. the current fiscal year. Okay. Correct. All right, so continue um, your thought. <laughs> I right. Interrupted you. So, um, <laughs> As far as um, you know, where the current t or the the past TA's office, you know, I think that should be right now for the the uh, interim TA. Um, I I would like to be able to see now. I know that TCAM was looking for another spot to to house. My only concern is I would like to be able to put. Um, the uh, selectman information in that particular office, the, the executive assistant office or the selectman's office or whatever that is, um, to be able to be locked and then just the selectman and the, um, uh, the temporary um, part-time BOS executive assistant have access to that room. That's my thought. But where are we going to put TCAM for now? Um, there was a, a question about um, there is a, a place that's across the hall um, in land use. I guess there's a little area there. I heard. I'm not really sure. I, I'll have a better idea when I get there. Well, what about the wiring? Well, are you going to look into all that? I mean, I think that could be an issue because everything's wired to that corner of that building. And um, I don't know if that works. But, you know, let's uh, let, let's have you deal with IT and, and maybe deal with Dave and TCAM and uh, just figure out what we need to do. Yeah, because we need to find a secure spot. And if that's not going to be able to be done, then we need to move everything over to um, where the TA was um, as far as the, um, you know, making sure that's secure with all the paperwork and stuff uh, for now. I mean, that might be an easier an easier thing to do to move all the executive assistant things into the TA's office correct okay yeah move all that over there and then we can just get we got the code to go into there and we can go in there we got a desk to sit at if we have to and you know um, it's a okay. start it's a start um, what about TCAM back to TCAM Dave is here he has his finger up do you want to talk <laughs> okay go ahead yeah the uh, right as you go in the land use store the front door there immediately on the right there's a, a closet size space there it's a little bigger than a closet it's where the uh, master panel for the alarm system is uh, the consultant that we've been working with uh, said that that could be a large enough space to move Hartley's equipment into and then we could run it from there However, and Joe hit it, um, hit the nail on the head, we're going to have to rewire from here and there all the way across the town hall and then drop it down into the room. That's going to require hiring an electrician, uh, actual an electrical uh, contractor. Uh, we talked a little bit with Rob Beauchamp about that. He's got more detail on what needs to be done to get the wiring sent back over there. So it's not like something we can do in a week yet. Okay, it so. Is, but well, it's good to get in front we, of it We right need to think about this. I'm wondering, this is just a thought that just came into my head. What if we, um, uh, the facilities office is downstairs, right? Yep, in that downstairs next to meeting room two. And where where is IT? In IT, that same room? Well, there's only one little 
piece of equipment, like a, a computer-sized piece of equipment sitting in the corner. All the rest is just shelves, and I, I think there's just there's a couple of desks. Yeah, that's more like a workstation. The actual IT room that Chaz is going to be looking it's at outside is outside the downstairs door. You, you, oh, you go in oh. through the uh, uh, building department, and there's a locked door on the left, yeah. right near the mm -hmm. In there, there's a closet when okay. you go in the server and other equipment. All oh, air conditioned, everything. Well, here's just something to think about. You know the space between the two offices in the selectmen's chamber? Would it make sense to put a desk there for yeah, the yeah. executive assistant? No, out there. Out there? In, in the lobby? Where the copier is. Kind of rearrange things and put a desk out there. Well, there is a desk there. But I want to rearrange so that the desk would be facing so when people come in, they would be immediately greeted. Oh, like there. a reception seat. Yeah, and um, and then have the uh, TA's office be both the interim TA and the executive assistant, more of the, and uh, have all the locked files in there, and then leave TCAM in the big room, allow a BOS desk in there for for the selectmen to use for when non where for non confidential things, just for. You know, whatever. Um, I don't know. We might want to just rethink the space. Yeah. Well, let's all, right. all put our head together, look around the building, and next meeting we bring it up again. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to suggest that um, I'd like to to be able to talk with Guardian and find out what what, what we're doing. I'd also probably want to touch base with Dave to see what uh, what his thoughts are too before we even. You know, but my, the the I think for now we should take the documents sensitive the sensitive documents and just keep them in the um, in the now TA's office for instead of leaving them out on the table. Yep. Put them on that desk in there for now. Yep. Okay. Yep. So um, can I offer a partial suggestion or something? Uh, get, sure. Get one of those small home safes, portable type safe. You could lock documents in there and just the three or four of you have the combination of that. But if we have the combination to that door, we're the only ones that can go in anyway. Right. That code has been changed, Madam Chair, and I think the three BOS, all of us have a code. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, I think that's what we should do, move it into that room right now and, and go from there. Okay. I think that's the only, only thing we can do. All right. I think that's a start. Um, all right, 5.1.5, finances. Um, on, uh, so I guess to finish the discussion on space, we'll all think about this. Yep. Make a dis I'll put this back on an agenda for Monday. Is that too soon? Or yeah. Yeah, I, I would it on for the 29th. The 29th, yep. yeah. okay. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um, all right, moving on to finances. Uh, not a lot to say there. Um, I met with Jared. We're trying to get the uh, to finish up the um, uh, the agreement, the tentative agreement that we signed to get all those um, the payroll in order, yep. so yep. payroll can move on to fiscal year 22, and uh, and look at the retroactive piece of that as well. So we're continuing that. Jared's been doing great work uh, getting the. Um, spreadsheets together, he and Anthony, to allow us to do that. Okay. Yep. So um, I agree. Both of them are working really hard with us, and I, I appreciate their help. Um, so we, yeah. So um, we met last night and approved the tentative agreements. So we're we're rolling with that. We're hoping to have numbers uh, in place by I don't know the date, not this Friday, but next Friday. It would be good to have that. Um, so that they can get moving for payroll to enter the data. So everybody Correct. gets paid appropriately in the new fiscal year. The good news is the, the, it's not until July that the, pay, the first fiscal year um, 22 payroll is, so. All right. Uh, all right, uh, 5.1.6, the, that's all I have on finances, unless either um, of you. I would just, if you could, um, there are, um, when I was talking with uh, Mr. Smith in the highway department, there's road opening and there's a, a water road opening that does need to be signed. If you could put that into um, the uh, highway mailbox downstairs and let me know and I'll let him know that it's there. Okay. Does it need, 
Does it need to be stamped? Do you know? Probably. Uh, well, it needs a signature because Unitel wants a, wants a signed copy. Okay. All right, we can do that. Um, I'll do that today. Thank you. Anything else under finances? No. All right, moving on, 5.1.6, the wall that heals. Uh, Joe, you got information on this. Uh, yes, Madam Chair, I'd like to first um, give the town maybe a little more update as far as the healing wall that is coming to Townsend. Um, I have been in contact today with Russell Job, J-O-B-E, hope I said that correct. Um, he just sent me a little brief update as far as what's involved, and I'd just like to read this so that the community will understand how in detail this is. So the wall is scheduled to be in Townsend the week of July 1 through the 4th. On January 29th, a safety walkthrough and escort will be done. At 9 a.m., there will be a site walk safety through, through at North Middlesex Regional High School with the Vietnam Wall Organize, Organizers members, the Townsend Wall Committee members, the Townsend Fire Department, the North Middlesex Regional High School facility crew, and, and Townsend representative. All Townsend selectmen, department, and committee reps are, are free to attend this walkthrough. At 2 p.m., the wall will be escorted from Fort Devens to Townsend, 2 p.m. on the 29th, just to make it correct. 2 p.m. on the 29th, the wall will be escorted from Fort Devens to Townsend by an estimated 300 motorcycles, state police motorcycles, and helicopters, and about 50 vehicles, Jeeps from the Massachusetts Wicked Jeep Club, scheduled to arrive at the North Middlesex Regional High School at about 3 p.m. There will be a group, group photo taken after the wall arrives at North Middlesex Regional as customary for all riders and escort folks. The trucks will also be staged at that point. It will sit in, it will sit for the remainder of the visit. On June 30th, the wall, building the wall. At 8 a.m., the assembly of the wall starts and will be completed by the end of day, about eight hours. Being there, being there are no doors, gates, etc., to keep people out during building the wall. There will be volunteers to help maintain safety. After the wall is finished, and from that point until it leaves, it is technically open for visitors. Volunteers will be staffing the exhibit 24 hours a day until breakdown is complete on July 4th at 4 p.m. So that's one of the things we really need as many volunteers from the community. You do not need to be a veteran. Anybody that's willing to ha help, it has to be staffed 24 hours a day. On July 1st, it's gonna be a welcoming ceremony. At 5 p.m., we will be having a welcoming ceremony that will last no more than one hour at the wall. The itinerary will be forthcoming as it is compelled. I would expect our town representatives to be at this, this ceremony and a couple to briefly speak as well. More to come. July 3rd, there will be a remembrance ceremony. At 5 p.m., this ceremony will be similar to the first one, and again, the itinerary will forthcoming. July 4th, the wall will be disabled, dissembled. At 2 p.m., the tentative time that the assembly is scheduled to start. Based on the number of visitors still at the wall, the truck will leave when completed. So. As we get more information, uh, I will uh, forward the information to the chair. We will post it on the town website. Once again, once there's more information, um, hopefully everybody will get posted on all the town websites. So they've asked that we put out, this is a once in a lifetime that this wall may make it to Townsend. 
I think every citizen, resident, once we know the exact route, I do believe the tentative route now is coming up Route 13, taking a right on 119, going down through the harbor. The wall will extend, the, the ride will extend from there down into 113 in Pepperell. It will make its way to the rotary on 111 to go by the Pepperell Vietnam Memorial that's there, then return back <clears throat> up 111, 113, onto 119, and it will finish its final stop at the high school. So anybody that's interested will get a little better exact times, but it would really be nice to see our community, our residents, everybody on the side of the road to support that. That's all I have. All right. And I, I guess, too, the flag, uh, American Flag Committee meeting? Oh. It's tomorrow, so... And also, the American Flag Committee is tomorrow. I have reached out to um, Mr. Arsenal to explain that, you know, we really need all the American flags to be hung. Um, I did reach out to um, one of the persons that reached out to us that, you know, willing to help. I know, Chaz, you were going to reach out to find out about, about a bucket truck. So I've relayed that info to um, Mr. Arsenal. So hopefully in their meeting tomorrow night that they will expedite and get the town to have all our flags. It's, it's something that has to be done. This is something that we have to honor all the vets throughout all divisions of the armed forces. I, I agree 100% Joe with you on that and I have had conversations this morning and we are moving forward. I'm very glad that we could appoint the uh, flag committee now, get them sworn in, they can make a couple of decisions and then we'll be able to move forward with getting those flags up. And it's very important that those flags have to be up before the 29th, before that procession comes into this town. Uh, it would be a sad day for the town of Townsend not to have those flags up where this is a once in a lifetime to honor all of the veterans throughout the armed forces. Okay. Um, so what I would like to do is um, on the website, um, put up on the red banner, uh, the wall that heals with the dates so that people know, and then put a, um, a piece, uh, you know, when you click on it, the read more, put the schedule, and then I will also put it under news yep. Um, yep. and see if I can find a picture that is related to this yep. that I could post. So If you go um, on to the wall, the, the, the moving wall, they do have several pictures that you can grab one out of. I, I was looking at that today. Okay. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into this, uh, not only just to set it up, but the amount of work that all these volunteers and all these people have done to bring that to the community. So now it's our time for the community to shine and we need to put our best foot forward and be there for them. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Chaz, both of you. And uh, we'll get this posted so that the town can know about it. Yep. So the people can be ready and out on the road when the you know, lining the roads when they come through on the 29th. Yeah, and we'll get an exact date, uh, not exact date, exact time, and the exact route that it will be. We'll try to post it. Hopefully all the Facebook pages in town will put everything up on all their pa pages. Um, this is something that's really important. So let's do what we got to do to make it happen. Okay. Um, moving on to 5.1.7, this was added. Um, I put this on here. I'd like to um, issue a reminder to all boards and committees, elected and appointed officials, uh, regarding decorum at meetings, just so that people understand how the agendas work, how you get something put on an agenda, and um, what uh, is expected behavior at um, public comment sessions. So I was thinking I'd write something up and run it by you guys 
and uh, we can get something out maybe next week. Madam Chair, I think that's a great idea. Um, you know, I, I truly apologize to any citizens that may have seen or heard what happened last night. We as a community, we're not like that. We're better than that, and we all have to work together. And it's very important that we may, may not all agree with each other, but we have to respect each other. And that's where I think it's going to be really important that we as a community, a group, and all boards stick together. So I, I will then write something up and you guys can take a look and see what you think and we'll go from there. Are you good with yep. that, Chaz? Yep, I'm good with that. All right. So that's all I had on that. Uh, 5.1. I forget you can't see my head shaking. <laughs> oh, we see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to the notice that we just got today about the open um, meeting law. Uh, so um, this was sent to us from uh, me, Tallerman, and Costa, our town council, and uh, the legislature has made a decision on this. Um, so, I'm looking at this. Um, this just got CC'd on today? Yeah, this just came just within came probably an hour. Uh, so, still, noon time or so? Ink still wet. Um, the, the act ex extends, so under the open meeting law, the Act extends the Governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law until April 1, 2022, at which time the extension will be repealed. Public bodies may therefore continue to conduct their meeting in accordance with the order suspending the open meeting law and may continue to have remote meetings in full. So, so because of this, we can do Zooms. So my opinion, Madam Chair, I mean, we're getting into vacation times for everybody, summertime. Um, I, I would, I, I think coming in to this hall in this room is really great. I, I like to see the citizens sitting in front of us and I think it's, you know, face to face is a much nicer way to deal with. But, you know, I think maybe the main select, uh, our main meetings, have them in the chambers, and then any of our work sessions, anything else like that, maybe via Zoom. It'll make it a little easier for all of us. I know Chaz has his job, I have a job. Everyone has things. We'll do whatever we need to do to make this work for everybody, but I would like to see us maybe think about that. Chaz, what are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts are that exactly. I'd also like to go forward with the investigation with the OWL technology because that way we can then have hybrid meetings. Um, according to the what was decided, it was until April of 2022. Um, so that gives us plenty of time to be able to get the um, hardware software in place to be able to, to do that. And especially if we have, you know, Chaz, if you're away on vacation, but you still want to be able to be part of the Selectman's meeting, we have that technology, you, myself, or Veronica, we can zoom in, still be part of it, and still be able to have our meetings and have everybody involved. Okay, so um, I'm, I guess, do we need a motion on this even? I don't even know. I don't, I don't think we do. I don't think, I, don't I mean, think it's the either. governor's governor's statement and uh so we're just okay it's, this falls on our posting procedure so if we are going to have a zoom meeting we would need to post it with the zoom um, information on it if we are having it in person then we just wouldn't wouldn't have you know we would say that this would be an in-person meeting all right so what i'm going to do then is get zoom links for all of our work sessions mm -hmm. and um, i have to have one by tomorrow so i can post our monday meeting with a zoom link um, so all our work sessions, if I'm hearing what you're saying, all our work sessions will be Zooms. Our main meetings will be in person and uh, we will um, see if TCAM can, uh, we can direct TCAM to investigate the OWL technology 
and uh, see what the pricing is on that and the connections. What? It's a thousand dollars. Oh, it's a thousand dollars. So we'll yeah. look and see. Um, and that might be able to be used to COVID funds. Maybe we can do funds. COVID funding on that. Well, I'll find we, out. I actually looked into that. We can use that as COVID funding. So um, uh -huh. I, I think then that we want to start um, per the purchase for that. Can get one here in three days. Um, Dave says, I don't know for anybody that heard, uh, it, we can get one here in three days. I think so what I'm going to do then, I'll get a Zoom link for all of our meetings. Our main meetings will be in person, yep. in person here, but if we have the owl up and running, if somebody's away, we can come We can in. also. So I'll I'll do a Zoom link for that as well. And then I do believe, Madam Chair, if you post it as a Zoom link, and I think if for some reason you're in town hall or Chaz, we can still have that meeting. Right. If two sitting here, if I'm not here or Chaz, but continue. Right. If Even if, if one of us is sitting. Right. Here. Right. So. I was going to say, if it is uh, the governor's extended the previous order, then. You don't need the two physically present anymore. Yeah. You can just go back. That is, All right. that is absolutely correct. Yeah. All right. And I think I'm, that will be a great help to us. All right. So I'll get Zoom links for all our meetings yep. that we know about. Okay. So that, um, uh, anything else on that then? No. All right. So um, this is good news. So uh, any reports from board liaisons? No, I don't have any, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, I do not have any. I, I do intend uh, to attend tomorrow evening's um, American Flag Committee meeting okay. because I am the liaison. Right. They're an appointed board. Yep. Um, so just to know that, but I have no report other than that. Uh, and then, Madam Chair, do we just, we'll sign these. We just discussed that we're going to sign the agreements, the contracts uh, for the for two. The two, two um, Interim, interim town, account. town accountants. So okay. we have copies of them right here. So Chaz, if you come in and you sign them, at least we'll be all done. Right. Yep. We'll um, be there tomorrow morning. Were you looking for flags? Is that what I'm trying to understand? Well, there's flags up right now, but what we did is the flag committee over the past couple of years while the flags haven't been up. And Could I have a point of order? Um, um, can we talk yeah. about that afterwards? Because I really need to get back to work. Yeah, let's, let's, that's not on the agenda, but you guys are welcome to talk as soon as we're done. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, thanks, Chaz. Um, yeah. Announcements and communications. Any, any other letters that came in? I don't think I, I don't have, have anything, no. anything else. All right, so um, our next meeting, we have work sessions scheduled for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week, 21, 23, and 25. Nothing for Friday this week. And the following week, it would be June 28, um, 30, and July, July 2. No, um, I've got to the 29th, ain't the 20th. And on the no, 29th, 20th. we have a regular meeting at 6 p.m. And we will also have uh, 3 p.m. at the high school for the wall. So if we're going to be present for, for well, that. Well, I think you need to post that because I don't know exact time if we're all going to okay. be there. I think we need to post if they want us. All to be there. All right. Uh, so I'm going to do June 29th at 3 p.m. and at 6. But the 3 p.m. won't need a, a Zoom because it's uh, an in-person. So the 29th, it's just it's coming through town. Uh, they say we all can do the walkthrough as long as we That's don't have any. Yeah, yeah, no discussion. It 3 o'clock, it's going to be here. But there's no, no talking until the 30th when the okay, wall's so built, the and then July 1st at 5 p.m., we have to post. 30th and July 1st. Yeah. Those two. Okay, so not the 3 p.m. on the 29th. Okay. Uh, that's going to be kind of, we can all be there as it pulls in, as long as we don't have any discussion about anything. I don't think we're in violation of anything. Yeah, same with the 30th and the 1st, if we're not discussing. I'll find out. But that. find out. Ver verify yeah. that. Okay. All Madam right. Sherry, make a motion. We adjourn. Second. Um, all those in favor of adjourning at, what time is it? Two, 3.27. Joe Shank, yes. 
Chaz Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Kell, yes. Thank you, Chaz and Joe. Chaz, right. thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye.